While civil society groups in the country have identified shortcomings in the ongoing governorship and state's assembly elections across the country, they also made recommendations on observations observed during the exercise for future planning. Plus TV Manuel Ehijene reports as presented from our studio. Civil society groups, local and international, have been observing the governor and the state House of Assembly elections. Issues of voters' turnout, insecurity, ANEC preparedness, electoral violence were raised during a briefing with the media in Abuja. In some places, there seems to be low voter turnout. In other places, there is large voter turnout. And I think this will depend on a number of the, uh, We don't want to make any conjectures yet about the reasons for the deviation, other than to make the very general one that it, it, it depends on local dynamics. In most of the polling units, we have seen disruption, most especially in Lagos. We've seen that things happen and then uh, our security agencies started reacting and not uh, being proactive. So, and most of these people didn't even want to call with their phone because it, it, it's also very obvious that they are calling for help. And in some instances, we also seen some of the security agencies uh, posted at the polling unit uh, trying to just let go because of the safety of their own safety. The enthusiasm, you know, that passion, that drive that we had, we saw during the presidential election seems not really there this time around, you know, and probably people have got disillusioned, people are scared, or that element of distrust, you know, is now coming back. Yaga Africa received 15 confirmed reports of vote buying across eight states. In Sarke Mudu Poli Unit 016 in Giade local government area of Bauchi, PDP agents have been cited bribing accredited voters with a thousand naira. The group also advised on security arrangements for voters and need for security agencies to sit up. We have gone through this over and over again. So we need to say what we think needs to be done. We don't want to get to a point where we'll then have a special security agency for election. Our security agencies are all deployed from the DSS to the police who are in charge of election to the military, Navy, uh, um, Air Force, they are on civil defense, road safety, all of them, NCDC, they are all deployed for this election. Customs and all of that. So they are all deployed for this election. So if we have all our security agencies deployed for the election, it's about the coordination, it's about the security agencies being neutral and being responsive. They also made recommendations for future elections in the country. We expect that media will be proactive, number one, to fact check and counter fake and uh, misinformation and disinformation. And at the same time, we also uh, ensure the media at this point that they need to be neutral uh, because this any act of partiality or, part, uh, or partisan reporting is a potential for violence. We think so far, uh, INEC has done much better than the last time. How much of that will now satisfy the electorate will be for us all to decide at the end of the day, but so far so good, uh, if one can put it in a very, very uh, tentative manner. The Independent National Electoral Commission has an opportunity to redeem itself in these exercises and whether or not they did it successfully is depending on the outcome of this governorship and state's assembly election. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.